Hey, Tony. It's just us. Your family. We all care about you. We just want to see what's best for you. We think you've taken it too far with, with the Boca. I know it's fun. It's fun. Let's admit it. I'm doing it right now. But you're taking it too far? It hurts. It's hurting us. Oh. Oh no, Tony. Not your family. Oh God. Why'd you turn your family into Boca, Tony? How could you, Tony? How could you? So in today's video, we help Tony Northrup up from the dark path that he's on. And in the spirit of love, I'll, I'll be the first one to stop down. Let's stop down together, Tony. We're going 2.8. On a micro four thirds, that's at 59. Oh, you can see everything back there. Oh, that hurts the nervous system. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So my man, Tony Northrup, I can't, I can't do it. I'm not, I won't, you can't make me do it. Panasonic autofocus, where have you been? So I like Tony, I like his wife. Oh. I like what they bring to our little camera network of nerds. And they're just, I appreciate their thoughts. I like that they're not stuck in any one system. They tell you, they warn you against the bad sides of each camera. It's like, this is not gonna work for you if you want it for this. I appreciate their honesty. I know they get a lot of comments saying, oh, you're a shill for Canon. Oh, you're a Sony shill now. No, Nikon now, you're a shill. <laughs> but I totally believe they're honest and this compliment sandwich is over, Tony. The Boca addiction is real. It's distracting me. It hurts. It hurts my face. Tony just uploaded a video equivalent to what I can only imagine as being bitten by red ants and red sharks at the same time. It actually hurt me to watch. It was filmed on the Canon EOS R with that 50mm f1.2. It hurt my soul seeing it. I was like, what? what's happening? Did the Panasonic autofocus system Keep up with it. Yes, of course it did. Four years ago, I stood on this very beach and told you all the reasons you should switch to filming in 4K. Why are you creep walking up on me? You want a date? Just ask. I hate your autofocus walk. That's the only reason you did it. You're just the only reason. Panasonic actually can't track you if you go. He's tracking. Justin and I started the channel in 2011, filming with the mother of all DSLR video, the Canon 5D Mark II. That's actually not true, Tony. The Canon 5D Mark II was invented by Nikon in 1941. They actually beat Canon to it. Canon actually had to buy the name back from Nikon because they got it first. I'm not my acne. Why'd you bring us to a lake and hide it? Where is it? I want to see the lake, Tony. Let me at the lake. Come on. I deserve it. I'll eat my vegetables. Just let, let me go to the lake. I want to see it. Where are you? It looks so beautiful. And I can't. I can only imagine it. Are you trying to increase my imagination possibilities? Because I don't want that. Tony. This was the first video I've ever seen where the background blur was so blurry that it distracted me from the video. I, did, I couldn't even hear the video, what he was saying. The only thing I could focus on was why is the background so blurry? What the hell is that? Why? <laughs> right now, I'm shooting this with no cameraman, just using the Canon EOS R and a 50 millimeter f1.2 lens, but it's allowing me to do some tricks that I couldn't have done with any 4K camera. Is one of your tricks this? Where you disappear from the shot? Why aren't you in the shot, Tony? Your head's gone. I want to see your hat. What if I want to buy that hat? How am I going to see it to know? Is it a Tony Northrop hat? Where are they on sale, Tony? Are they on their Squarespace website? Is that where you hide them? <laughs> You've noticed I've been able to walk right up to you and it keeps me in focus, even in this really dim lighting. I've been able to move within the frame. Now, yes, you have been able to do that. And that's all I could focus on the whole video. Even what was the video about? I don't even know. It's just an autofocus test, a show off, a bragging rights convention. I wasn't invited to it. Usually when people are that close and they're cut off, it's to display intense emotion. As an example, this woman. This was an intense moment in the movie Glass. I just watched it. What a great movie. A lot of bad reviews, I can't believe it. It was a phenomenal movie. What's wrong with y'all? But look at the intenseness. And they cut right up, yeah. 
And they're not even, look at that background, I still see it. I can see the picture frames. I can see the bookshelf and the, the 3D time machine in the back. I have one, that's how I know. Filming this with a 50 millimeter F1.2 prime and it creates this gorgeous, rich background blur that conveys a feeling of higher production values because it's something that we've seen in really high-end movies all the time where they do have really expensive gear. There's a limit. There's a limit to the background blur. Let me show you a little example of my man, Bruce Willis, in the movie Glass. It's the only movie I've ever seen. That's a background blur. I can see everything, but it's cinematic as F. I'm in that. I'm in that shot. I'm nowhere else. In Tony's shot, I'm in pain. In confused dilemma. Delirium. That's where I am. That's why the Micro Four Thirds system as we know it is the greatest thing to ever happen to any of us. We're at an F3.4 right now. That's perfect. That's beautiful. Any more, you get weird. The funny thing is his whole video is about him switching back to 1080p from 4K, saying we don't need 4K. I totally agree. I always shoot in 1080p. I have for years. For a minute, when I got this new PC, I started testing out the files and it was harder to edit. Bigger files, it's annoying. It's annoying as shit. I agree with his whole thing, but the whole video, I, I didn't even get that that was the message. It was blur. It's too blurry. Oh, why is it so blurry? Most of my channel was filmed with the Sony X3000 indoors when it focus shifted to a brick mart 30 miles away. I don't know what happened. I was tracing it back. There was a couple videos, it looked good, and then boom, out of focus. It must have been when I took it into the ocean in the underwater housing. Something happened, something got wet. Something ain't right with that thing now. But I built my whole channel on just absolute horrendous video quality, it's my theme. It's I'm comic relief on how bad it can get. We seem to have figured some things out. We're somewhat respectable now, but I agree, content is king and 4K is unnecessary completely. So I applaud you, but I didn't even, it's too blurry. You're blurry. Selectively blur the background when I want to. I know, maybe I overdo it sometimes, but it's, it's fun, you know? You know what else is fun, Tony? Just taking a walk in a meadow with your family that loves you. They miss you, Tony. They can't see you. They don't know where you are. They're, they've been trying to locate you, but the background's too blurry. They, they don't know where you are, Tony. Just come back to them. Come back to all of us. We miss you. You're the leader of the camera nerds. We'll help you. If you need help, send it. Send a request. We're here for you. Love you, buddy. <laughs> I'm just being silly, but I'm not kidding when I say that video is the first video to ever irritate my nervous system physically. I just, I couldn't get over it the whole time. Like, it's too blurry. It wasn't blurry in a good way. So there's an F2.8 limit now, a curfew that I've set on Tony Northrop. I want to see a video shot at F2.8, your 24 mil lens. Try it. I know it's hard. I'll be the first one to join you. Oh. What happens to the autofocus performance? It doesn't even follow me anymore. It's confused. There's too much in focus at one time. It doesn't, it refuses to. Panasonic doesn't focus. F4. Come on, Tony, it's not so bad. This is fine. It's a good shot. Cinematic. Apparently. Oh boy. So what do you think? Has Tony lost his mind? Is Boca addiction a real thing in 2020? Let us know down below. And thank you for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one. I'm at f5.6. Isn't this the lens sharpness sweet spot? This should be the best image quality. You can see stuff. My thousand million dollar Van Gogh painting I got for two ninety nine. It's an original. I don't deserve it. I'm gonna go.